Hey guys, today's story is about sand, and how it's coarse, and rough, and gets everywhere. Well, I'm sure you read the title, and yeah, it's crappy, but I'm sure you would like details. And yes, I know it's long, I started the story from the dawn of time, but I wanted to paint the whole picture. I was pretty hyped for this, and it's hard to show how disappointed and frustrated I was without it all. And for those of you who might think that I'm a jerk for whining the whole time, I didn't. I was there, watching all of this unfold in front of me, and I kept my mouth shut. And yes, there's parts I thought were weird, but I didn't say anything mean or rude or jerky the whole time, right up to where I got squished. Our tale begins, of course, with the party, which consisted of a half-orc barbarian, a gnome sorcerer, a warlock, whose race I don't remember, a ranger, who also suffers the same memory issue of mine, and my tabaxi cleric. So, for backstory, we heard of this campaign through a discord that we were all together in for a different one, VR chat for those who are curious. The DM was supposed to have wonderful ideas, and everyone in that discord praised him for his abilities as a DM, except one problem. Everyone wanted to play myself included, and sure enough, when the time came up to divide up the groups to make it manageable, I got stuck with the alternate DM. Anywho, we all made our characters to start at level 1, and got prepared for the campaign without actually knowing what it was about. They really like to keep the whole thing secret. I can agree with keeping important plot points secret, but not the actual setting. All we were told was that it would happen in the desert, and that seems a touch too far, in my humble opinion. But who am I to disagree? I'm just a player, and the game will surely be amazing, right? Right? Well, the day finally came, and we all hopped into Roll20, and we started up the campaign right away, with no Session Zero. We were in a hurry. Go figure. There were three other groups, with 15 total players, with five in each group, and a session zero was completely out of the question, so we jumped straight in. And we were in the middle of a barren desert. But not just any desert, a desert ocean. And if you haven't figured it out by now, this is a pirate setting, but with sand. So we started in the middle of absolute nowhere. And I really do mean literally nowhere when I say this. There was exactly two small shacks where we started, and nothing else as far as the eye could see. We also had zero backstory as to how our characters arrived at this location. This is worse than you meet in a tavern, because at least that could make some teeny tiny bit of sense. Our start implied that we all came here on a purpose for the same reason, and that reason was never explained. We're in a hurry to get the group going, just roll with it, was the excuse we got. So backstory was thrown out of the window. Fun! So the story started, and we agreed to let the High Charisma Sorcerer do the talking. The owner and his assistant were the only two NPCs that we met, and our RP with them was boring and annoying. Our options after talking with them were as follows. Abandon the entire campaign and go do something else, or take their sand ship and go hunt down some sand pirates. <sighs> it was explicitly stated by the DM at this point that if we didn't do the quest, then there would be nothing else. The game would be over, we had no supplies, and we were weeks away from any form of civilization. So, because we actually wanted to have a game to play, we accepted the quest from these random desert dwellers, who also randomly have a sand ship. Our quest was fairly simple. Go explore, scout out the pirates, find out if we can get any information, and if we do, report back to the quest givers for more instructions. And do note here, our mission was not to fight with them, or to go looking for a big dumb final battle with them. Recon was our mission scouting. So that was a lie. We were given a sand catamaran and told to go explore and report back. 
The ship was mentioned to be maybe 20 feet across, so a fair-sized vessel. And with this, we set out into the sand ocean and started exploring. And up until now, it's basically just been our sorcerer who's been doing both the talking and RPing due to him having a maxed out charisma stat. However, it was our ranger's turn to shine. And oh boy, did he ever shine. To our detriment, and my eventual death. The DM told us that he would be making our lookout roll perception to try to find the pirates, or discover clues on each turn that we were exploring. And of course, we chose the ranger. On turn one, he got a nat 20. You find the pirate, they're right behind you and closing in on your position. This was our first turn out on the sand ocean. There was no chance or roll for us to hide from them. The moment the ranger spotted them, they were already on us and closing in specifically on us. Which meant that we were basically being punished for rolling high. If you roll high enough to see them, the pirates find you and start moving in. And the pirates never rolled for this, by the way. More fun! So, the inevitable happened. We panicked and started trying to outrun them. However, the pirate ship started catching up. And sure enough, their ship was just flat out faster than ours. Because, of course it was. We started making preparations for combat while they caught up, while we were moving at full speed. And as they pulled alongside of us, the DM described just how much larger their ship was than ours. And during that time, I couldn't help but wonder how a ship that was larger could physically be faster. Especially with just how much larger their ship was. The DM made a point of telling us that the side of their Trimoran ship's deck was a full six feet above of ours. And if we wanted to board them, it would take a whole turn and an acrobatics check. But for them, they could just hop down, no big deal. So they lined up alongside of us, and they wasted no time launching range attacks from their higher position. And to be fair, we did have a strategy. I had the highest amount of armor of the entire party, so I would stand front and center as they hopped down so that I could stop them as they tried to board us. The Barbarian would back me up with his mighty strength, and the Sorcerer, Warlock, and Ranger would provide range support from the rear. But our strategy fell apart on the first round of combat. I followed the plan and planted myself as best as I could to block anyone trying to jump down onto our ship, and using my action after moving to cast a quick ranged heal on someone who took a crossbow hit. The Barbarian decided at random to go towards the front of the ship and to also not be close to the edge. The Sorcerer, who went first for our team, thought it would be a great idea to launch a firebolt into the pirate's sails. And sure enough, he rolled high and set them alight. However, this would turn out to not be a good thing. Once the pirate leader's turn came around, he decided that because his ship was now on fire, he would ram our ship with his, and made a roll to ram us. And remember what I said before, their ship's deck is six feet above ours? Yeah. So the DM rolled to see how well the pirate captain piloted his ship for his ram attack, and he got a nat 20. Now, this is where things went from bad luck to just straight out crappy DMing in the space of seconds. The DM, who knows that my character was on the edge of the ship waiting for the enemies to try to board it, made a snap decision, and that decision was to straight up kill my cleric. No rolls, no saves, nothing. The pirate ship crashed over top of yours and the cleric was instantly crushed dead from having an entire boat land on her. The pirate ship is now basically half on top of yours. My cleric was now dead. My level one cleric was 100% squashed like a fly and was now dead and I had no chance to save her. I got no rolls to dodge, I got no saves. Hell, I didn't even get death saving throws. It was instant death. My game was over, and it had been maybe an hour of screwing around with boring dialogue with NPCs who don't like us, and then straight into naval combat. And on the end of my first turn, my cleric was instantly and irrevocably dead squished into little cleric bits. After this point, I started to drink hard because I was pissed. And maybe that's not the best response, 
but we all make mistakes, and I'm willing to admit mine. I started typing in the chat out of character, and metagaming and ghosting like there was no tomorrow, and being really abrasive to my team. None of my team listened, of course, and the Barbarian, who, while mid, did have a not-so-secret crush on me, started frantically trying to push the pirate vessel off of the spot where my cleric paste was. After way too many turns of trying to save the tomato sauce, where I used to be, the Barbarian finally rolled his own nat 20 and pushed the ship off. They managed to beat back the pirates, but only killing one in the process. The rest, including the leader, all jumped off their ship to save themselves as it began burning to the ground. And at this point, the DM said it was time to end the session. So, I left and never came back. I was drunk and angry, and never wanted to play with any of them again. My entire contribution to that campaign had been to stand around, listen to others talk, and then instantly die on the first turn of combat because the DM said so. And keep in mind that we were level 1, and my body was basically vaporized. There was no resurrecting me. My character was 100% dead. And not coming back. Ever. But the worst part was, was the way they died. The pirate captain rolled a 20, which apparently just meant instant death for anyone who was closest. No saves, no rolls, no death rows. Too bad, you're dead, get screwed. Now, I'll admit right away, the way I responded was absolutely terrible. I was angry and got super drunk and acted in a toxic way, typing all kinds of awful things to the other players and the DM. I was the sorest of losers in that moment, and more than willing to bring everyone else down with me. I can't ever take that back, and all I can do is apologize to the other players for being so rude. But with this being said, I won't apologize to the DM, who decided that my character should be instigibbed just because his pirate captain rolled a 20. Well guys, let it be said that you shouldn't arbitrarily kill your PCs in one shot. And while I won't defend the OP for their actions after the fact, it's completely understandable that they would be a bit angry. But hey, at least the OP isn't with the DM anymore, so there's that at least. Right? But that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one.